is um I've been seeing people say this is a whole topic for another day. Russell Westbrook all time is better than Chris Paul. No, he's not. No, he's not. Stop. No. Chris Paul is an all time and I I mean Russell Westbrook sure is an all time great too. But Russell Westbrook all time ahead of Chris Paul, just down that's that is atrocious. That is a horrible take in my eyes. It's I I don't think it's far off. Yeah. I don't think it's like there's such a discrepancy where if someone was to say Russell Westbrook's a top five point guard, I'd say no. Just stop talking. I think these later years for, for Russ have been very, very like head scratching because his efficiencies, the way he plays, his IQ has dwindled. Even his MVPs, they're just so deceiving, even though I you have to give him that. And I, I give him that, right? He averaged triple double four out of five years. That's very He's hard. Been, I, I get it. <laughs> and he, he was an MVP in 2016 17. I give him that. I acknowledge it. I'm not taking anything away from it. All I'm saying is that Chris Paul all time is higher than Russell Westbrook. I don't think it's a huge margin. If I'm just throwing a number out there, let's just say I put Chris Paul at like seven or eight, right? Let's just say. I would probably have Russell Westbrook probably somewhere around like 11 or 12. Maybe even 13 or 14. I don't think he's top 10. I, I don't think he's top 10. The numbers are way too glamorous. People get way too enamored with, with number, 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 numbers. But you got to look. I mean, that's what we had to present. But I, I get it. But I think context really has to matter, bro. I don't I don't respect Russell Westbrook's triple doubles maybe the way, and I never did, the way a lot of people did at the time, even when he did it for a full season, the first time he did it and mm-hmm. won MVP. Be, because when you just study that season, bro, Steven Adams would literally walk away from the basket, let him get a rebound. That's you true, know, but like, also they're it's they're just, a, I don't, I don't, efficiency. He next, was more efficient. That's just, when that's when the conversation comes into okay, your stat padding. He's been stat padding his entire career since KD left. That's cool. That's not for big. sure. But the way Billy Donovan had that offense constructed, there we go. It he was let Russell Westbrook go ninety four feet exactly every time because we knew we were at a very good chance. If you get the board, and you're out. Yes. If Stephen get, Adams gets get, the board. Even if it's a, if him just grabbing the board and Russell like having to scan the like you know scan the floor, yeah, it was gonna take it's gonna take a step back from what they can do on offense. I if it. Russell can grab the board and he's out, yeah, that's a part of it. So yeah. and Westbrook was the dead last ranked perimeter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Guard he didn't defender. Defend three. He didn't defend three. three. Yeah, yeah, for sure. In the league for like years, yeah, he it, was or he was always Russell Westbrook's finished top two in turnovers every single year. I think since becoming or think since coming into the league yeah. and since being. Something like I mean, I wonder, numbers numbers don't lie, but context matters. Chris Chris Paul is not lower on the all time point guard list than yeah. Russell Westbrook. So we've seen we've seen two players be Mr. Triple Double. Well, we haven't seen it, but we've seen one in our genera- our, right, our era sure. of basketball. And we've then seen the sixties, the sixties with Austin Robinson. I really wonder how that was. I wonder. I wonder. I mean, obviously, the three point was available back then, but I wonder if they had a three point line back then. I wonder if he was camping out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if he was, okay, you guys shoot, I'm going to grab the board, we're going to get out. I wonder how that was back then because I'm pretty sure it was the same. It quite possibly could have been. And obviously, the game changes over time. It does. But I, I still respect yeah. the fact that. I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever going to average triple a four out of five years. Just guys in the NBA are too good nowadays. Role players are great players nowadays. Yeah. So and you know, it's, and, it's hard to make and that kind to of really. Comparison. And another thing, too, I got to say about Russ, like that's why I'm kind of on the fence with this because it's kind of like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have him higher than Chris Paul all time, would you? No. No. I don't. Okay. But I've seen Russ has made one finals, right? One. No, he's made he's made one. Yeah. When Russ, him, when Russ, him Russ can't and get Katie out the first puppies. round, though, man. That's nothing, too. Russ can never get out the first round. Because he's not... He's, yeah. he's the most... Well, yeah, leave it, I'm going I'm 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 to leave, I'm gonna leave it on this. Russell Ball. Westbrook, and I've said this for years, since 2017, he's the most overrated superstar in NBA history. I still said he's a superstar, but out of every superstar that's ever coexisted into the NBA, he's been the most overrated one. He was the one that never got the slander until he got to LA. I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Yeah, that's that. true because he's doing the same thing he was doing with the Wizards last year, right? With LA this year, and people are like, "Now it's on prime time TV." Like, man, right. what the with hell are you doing? AD. He's doing the same thing last year. He's doing, I think, he was doing the same. He was doing the same thing in OKC. Yeah, he's doing the same thing in Washington. He's doing the same thing in Houston. It just looks other than the Lakers. And I've been calling this out since he was oh, an MVP. I agree with you. I say every time he does something stupid, I say why not? Because a dude plays like a fool. <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> he does. He plays like a fool, oh, man. man hide you. your kids, hide your wife when he shoots, bro. When he shoots that ball, hide your kids, hide your wife. Yeah, he had a side of the backboard and whatnot, dog. 
crazy, bro. You could put up a 20 minute compilation of his. I know I'm going on the rant right now it's with good. Russ, but like, I can't. People said that Steph is so disrespected, bro. Like, people said that Russ was better than Steph. People, people said that Russ was better than Dame. I'm sorry. People say that's never been better than Kyrie Dame. was better than Steph. People say that Russ is better than Steph. Now they're saying Luca's better than Steph. We're going to see. We're going to see, man. But. Disrespect for my dog is, yeah. is, is no, unruly. No Steph slander. No baby. No baby face assassin slander.